Some new details in a shooting late Wednesday night. A man now dead after being shot when a homeowner found him burglarizing a neighborhood. Police say that no charges have been filed just yet. KLBK's Emily Harrison has been following this story. She joins us now from 39th and Knoxville. Now, Emily, do neighbors agree with what happened? John, it's been a bit of a mixed reaction as they're not sure what they would have done if they were in that position. But I did speak to a lawyer who says legally the homeowner may be in the right, but that it's complicated. You can't shoot someone just come on their property, and people shouldn't take this case, especially at this stage, to mean, yeah, if you think somebody's stealing something, you can shoot them. It's a little more narrow than that. According to Chapter 9 of the Texas Penal Code, defending your property against a burglar can be legal, but there are some exceptions. A person can be justified in using deadly force to protect property if and when, to the degree they reasonably believe it is immediately necessary. For instance, you can shoot if the thief is armed or invading your home, but it doesn't necessarily go over car burglary. Neighbors feel conflicted about what they would have done. Oh, I love it. I, I think that ought to happen every time anybody breaks into a car. Or a home. Or, or a, home. a home. Because it is ours. We worked hard for it. To me, I don't know if he had a gun. I don't know if he went to people's houses. You know, it's hard to say, but it's unfortunate that, that he had to die for any reason. Certainly if it was just burglarizing a car. The shooter has not been charged, but it is an ongoing case. All the people on this block are good people, and as far as I know, but I do know that I feel safe until something like this happens. Now, LPD's Metro unit is investigating the shooting, and they're asking anyone with any information or surveillance video to please contact them.